Mm. So recently I've been doing pour over coffee and that just hits. But welcome back guys. Welcome back to the new year. Today we're gonna be talking export settings. Let's jump right in. I need like a boom mic because holding the microphone like this just doesn't doesn't feel right. But anyways, here we are in Final Cut. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what my export settings are. Um, but they're pretty simple just because you know it's Final Cut. It's been my go-to program for ever since I started editing, video editing. So nothing's pretty much changed over the years. But here we have a full edit. Just got this done, uploaded it on IG. If you guys aren't following me on IG, do so. But anyways, now we're gonna export this, right? We're gonna go on the top right, little square with the arrow pointing up. We're gonna go to export file. So here we are, export file. Not to overcomplicate, but we just go to settings. And here we have my export settings. So a few things, this is a 4K video one and we are shooting it in vertical. So export settings for this video and audio on the format, video codec H.264, let me show you why. So if we go to and do like the default Apple ProRes, if you guys look here, 2.36 gigs, right? So the file sizes will just shoot up um especially like think if you're doing like a youtube video something that's like 10 minutes 20 minutes if you're exporting at apple pro rest which is a high quality codec the file sizes are just going to be way too big right so h.264 nothing really changes on your quality and you get a lot less of file size so everything else seems pretty much okay rolls we don't really mess with anything there but now we hit next I usually just export to my desktop, save, export, name it as you like. I had the uh, project file name vlog because I was in the vlog earlier, but now you export. And one of the biggest things that I do, if I'm sending this to a client, I will put it in a Google Drive folder, share it, upload it. Um, and I've been using Google Drive for the longest quality does not change for me personally and if i'm kind of like on set um i have my client like right here before me and i'm doing like same day editing or just you know like i'm i'm done with the edit client is right there in front of me i would just go ahead and airdrop it to them airdrop is by far the best thing you can do you will lose absolutely no quality and you'll retain all the information on your final file so just another quick tip before you do export also make sure that everything on your project file and your timeline is correct right so we go here to modify this is our project this is what our project will be project name whatever you want it i have it as vlog but if we're doing a vertical video make sure that your video is on vertical you guys are spoiled now because back in the day i would have to custom input anytime i wanted to make a vertical video but now you guys have the vertical option and 2160 by 3840, that's gonna be 4K. Uh, rendering, Apple ProRes, your Kodak, always Rec 709. That's gonna be your standard, always just color space, press okay. So that way, whenever you're editing, if you're editing vertical, this is a horizontal video made to a vertical, but you know, you get the gist. If you're doing a wide video, make sure that on your project you have it as it won't say wide it'll just be your 1080 4k if you're shooting if you shot something at 1080 have the file have the timeline set to 1080 if you shot something in 4k have the timeline set to 4k um you know etc etc and uh yeah all right so just a pretty simple video on what I do exactly for my export settings. Once again, it wasn't anything too crazy. You can easily get these settings locked in on Final Cut. Next time you're making an edit or just any type of content, get these settings on and you'll retain high quality and save some space on your file sizes. If you did like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Boy, boy, shall I be